35, yeah, it's right on the money. You can, you can, it shows One more time, you, I couldn't hear you. The um, DYTR Yamaha tuner that comes stock with the bike, um, you can change your mapping around on it and stuff like that. Um, so this is just like a, a different map. We're gonna try um, different that, maps. That we it, tried. I saw one was hard hitting, one was... Uh, yeah, that's like a hard hitting. The, these these ones just come stock map in the bike. Um, one that me and Jeff had made the other night. So you guys made your own map? So yeah, it's basically yeah. changing the fuel. We the, took the, some fuel out. We added four degrees of time and, yeah. and we picked up a horse. And then, you know, it shows you your battery and your coolant temp, your intake, air temperature temp, your air pressure. And then, like, when you turn the throttle, so that way you, it's easier to set your TP sensor and some stuff like that. high-tech stuff right there, man. Ooh, yeah. The battery is so, electric start, right? Where's yeah. the battery on this thing? Uh, right underneath your ass. Does it go dead often or no? No. No? Off. The centralization, the mash, the gas tank, battery, everything's in close and tight, right? Yep. Jeff, um, you've been running this dyno for 17 years. You've been running a dyno for 30 years, right. but this particular one for 17 years. Correct. It's all tuned up, dialed in, and perfect. Now, we ran it with a knobby yesterday. With a knobby tire, what did she put down? Uh, 42. 42. And so we might have had a little wheel slippage because the, the center of the dyno, the knurling, which grips the tire, was is considerably worn. Yeah. So today I moved the wheel chalk over three and a half inches, so we're on fresh knurl now. That'll make a difference. Street tire and fresh knurl, so we got absolutely no slippage. What now. kind of street tire did you choose to run? Uh, I forget what it was. Just a... Oh, it's a Avon Super Venom AM18. Yeah, I think uh, yeah. Billy Blythe and, and Kyle did some research, and that was the one they wanted to go with. Looks kind of narrow, but hey, we're, this is the same note. Yeah. Kyle, I mean, um, Mario. Mario. Uh, the um, the knobby on there, it was 42. Now it's 53 point what? 53.14. Is that the same thing Dirt, Dirt Rider Magazine came up with, Junior? I know you watched the video this morning, right? They had 54. They had 53 and, and change. Okay. You know, I think they had 53 one. It was almost, almost exactly. Yeah, uh, so we're very there. close. We're, we're right on the money. You got this thing dialed this in perfectly. Dyna, this dyno was dialed in. Uh, and the CR500 still beat it in the drag race. <laughs> yeah, look at that. We got to put the CR on there next. Guys, we're, we're going to put the CR500 on there next and we'll see what's up. Now, torque rating. Do you have a torque rating? Yeah, let's have a look at that. You got the horsepower. That's right on the money. This thing does uh, 32, perfectly. 32.9. 32.9. Now, this is a key thing, guys. 32.9 foot-pound of torque. Pretty wide torque curve. Um, can you put this directly over the CR500 map once we get that one done? Yes. Oh, that'd be sick because, Mario, check it out. Your torque curve is pretty flat from, like, point to the RPM RPM scale. Where's our RPM? Okay, let me get like, that show. down here. Like explain to us what's going on here, Jeff. Okay. Like, so here's your RPMs down here. Here's your torque curve. 
And here's your power curve. So from like 6,000 to 9,000, you're putting down over 30 foot pound of torque, right? Yes. The torque lasts for uh, six to nine, and then it falls off a bit, just it's, like it's the power It's pretty strong falls. even from four to six though, isn't it? I mean, 25 foot pound of torque is pretty good. I think yeah. this, the 500 is gonna be a lot stronger from uh, like six or 9,000 RPM. Yeah, they're six or nine. Running. Yeah, six or 9,000. Why don't you call him and see what he says? A lot stronger on the two stroke Eagle. Yeah, now, you gonna go with the Magnum Eagle? Where are you? There he is. You gonna go with the Magnum Eagle? Tomorrow I got my hands tied. Tomorrow it shows You're busy? Truth will come out. Yeah. Well, Showdown. Hey, it's your sponsor. Where are they at? Danville, Virginia. You want to thank the sponsors? Oh, yeah. Rusty and Danville, give them a call. They'll say anything. Kawasaki, Yamaha, Suzuki. Who else is sponsoring you? Captain Vital. Who else? Uh, Piedmont Flooring, Lake Sugar Tree, Gary Bailey, Ryan Smith, Mom, Dad, FXR, Funnel Web Air Filters. That's why it's making so much power. The Funnel Web Air Filter, dude. No <laughs> restriction. You're going to go to NEMX and win some races this weekend for your team? Yeah. Absolutely. Right, about time. Saturday. Right. No mid pack BS. What's the man? name you of this map? <laughs> what's, what? what's this map called? This is that. Um... This is a map you guys built? Yeah. No, this is. You could put the. We're testing the one map, the Travis Preston map that everybody raves over on the Yamahas. Okay. So I want to see what it does versus So it's what, called the TP map? Yeah. That everybody loves to death, but. You got it programmed in there? Yeah. So you see what she'll do? We'll see what it actually. Is it supposed to give you more horsepower? We'll see. We'll About see. to find out. We'll find out the proof in the pudding right now. So hey, what happened with the Travis, uh, who is it? Travis Preston map versus what uh, me and Jeff came up with last night. We made 53.14, the Travis Preston map made 51.89. And they're raving about, maybe should yeah, be raving and, about them. And you could see the difference in the, the power curve on it and torque. So. We should have been, sam if we sampled the fuel, we could have seen if the fuel to air. So, so the compared. manic mechanic test to tune is better by let's, two two horsepower well, let's, or one point half. Let's do a uh, fuel to air test and see if his map's too rich or something. Yes, please. We just put the sniffer in there to see uh, if she's running too rich. So how, do, how does that how does that work? It's all computer uh, controlled. It's an oxygen sensor, so we're we're measuring the unburnt oxygen coming out of the motor. The what oxygen's left? Three hours and seventeen minutes. Runtime? Yeah. On the bike, totally. Yeah. Barely broken in, basically, right? I mean, three hours just broken in. Yeah. It's brand new. It's brand new. Fresh. 2021 freshy. Ain't fresh no more. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. Looks pretty fresh to me, man. You're just getting comfortable on it. So his map is, the, the Travis Preston map yeah. is really rich, huh? The fuel to air is way down to 12. It should be 13 and a half. So why would people be ranting about that one? Well, I mean, depending on what muff, you know, we got a stock muffler. That could, yeah, okay, with a, okay. With a high performance muffler, that map might work. Okay, good, so. so you got to match the, the map to the spec yeah. on the exhaust. Some of that, 
that richness name may come out with a high flowing silencer. Just put ours back in. Yeah. That easy mass is the Yamaha High tech, man. But so we taught ourselves some things about street tire versus the knobby. That's for sure. How much percentage more was it? Wow, well, 40, 42 to fifty-three. That's pretty big. That's uh, geez, that's twenty, like 20%. something. Yeah, that's. So, so this thing probably the knobby was spinning. Yeah, we weren't getting the drum was not spinning as fast as. So the we tire. already knew that because on the two fifties we got four horse more, but on the four fifty it was ten horse or eleven horse, right? Eleven. Yeah. Well, I texted you last night. Yeah, we actually, guys, we, did, we ran the dyno yesterday, but we didn't want to show you the video because we, we thought, well, of course, there would have been a million million people saying these put down more than, oh, still than 42 horsepower. But, hey, this is the same number that Dirt Rider got in, on their uh, dyno jet, their brand-new dyno jet. They just tested it this year. Who else, who else dyno tested it? I know there's a few people that did, right? Yeah. I mean, the factory says, all, all listen, the factory says 58.67 in the manual or whatever it is. That's at the crank, man. Yeah. That's right here. At the crankshaft, that's what they mean. They don't mean back there where the rear tire dino, is the ground. Dino jet, is 12, dino jet states it's 12% difference. Okay, so, so take 12% uh, take, uh, of 53, boom, there you go. Yeah. That's 58 horsepower, it's right on the money. Yeah. So, so the, Jeff, can you explain the theory why the crank horsepower is less than the rear wheel horsepower? Well, we're spinning this tire in this chain and this mass here in this, you know, up here, you're just spinning right off the sprocket, or a shank dyno, they call it. So, so to spin this wheel 75 miles an hour with yeah. all that weight it takes about chain. five horsepower, or 12 percent, right? That's right. Yeah. And that makes perfect sense. All that unsprung weight, the chain, the parasitic drag on the chain, and the uh, bearings, and any brake drag you might have, whatever it is, any parasitic drag at all. For you spinning, you need a different dyno. They have a dyno that, that the factories use that I've seen. I've seen Mako has one. Um, where they test their two strokes and uh, they had it um, bolted to a to a uh, basically a platform with a snorkel of, to get the exhaust out of the room and they test it right off the crankshaft. I've never seen a crankshaft dyno on any other bike other than at the Mako factory, and that was an older photo from a while back. Have you ever seen Have you ever seen a, a, an engine dyno? You know what we should do before we're done here. I didn't think about. It. We should put it all back to. We'll pull um, the stock numbers with the stock map in it. is going to show you how you change the map on a 2021 Yamaha. So right there, just connected it into my Wi-Fi. Scroll down, go to my power tuner app. And then uh, right here would be, let me add a map. So that would be like a stock map. That's how they come. Stock all is all zeros. And then you go send to map one. 6 to descend, so now it's got the map in it. All zeros? Just that simple, yeah. So you put it back to stock? All stock. We'll see what it does on, on the dyno. Okay. With it. So the, the top rating, uh, 53.14, is a map that Mario and Jeff yeah. put in, and the 51.4 is the stock stock map, and 51.7 is a TP. Yeah. So you can change your horsepower a little bit, but bottom line is putting down 53 with the rear wheel, right? Guys, if you want to get your bike dyno tube, give, give us a call, 860-454-7024. We will run a dyno. Uh, pull for you three pulls for a hundred bucks and and you'll have proof of what your bike's putting down um, And if you want to tune it uh, then then we charge 90 bucks an hour from there. So um, Full dyno tune setting maps jetting whatever you want to do we can do it, but the basic horsepower confirmation uh, with the with a um, copy uh, Either a photo or a printed copy for you is a hundred bucks. So If you want it done give us a call dyno jet dyno by the manic mechanic.